tell you who I'm with. Right, I can't tell you who I'm with. Because you're not with anybody. Did you get screwed over? Nope. Never have, never have, never have written an officer in my career. Never have arrested one. You knew that someone who's basically your brother. My brothers don't get terminated and let go from so many agencies. It's ridiculous. State certified agency. So if you would just turn around and place your hands up on the wall. Congratulations. Good afternoon. Corporal Lowe, Dorville PD. Didn't see the school bus stopped on the side of the road. Didn't see it. Not at all. Because I just passed a 41 that was down here and I was focused on those officers. No courtesy. And I've written a thousand tickets myself. Are you with somebody? Uh, right now? Yeah. Yeah. Who? Why would I exchange that information? Well, well then I'll write you a ticket. If you won't tell me who you're with, I'll write you the see ticket. The bus. Okay. I'll be Officer back with Bo, you in just a minute. I didn't see the bus. Okay. If you don't want to tell me who you're with, that's fine. I'll I issue the I citation. I can't even confess guilt to what I did because I didn't you see You don't have it. to confess guilt. You want to tell me who you're with or not? That's fine. I'll just write the ticket. Schultz, here's your driver's license. Well, I appreciate you, man. You on the job somewhere? I can't tell you, sir. Okay. I can't tell you. Okay, I'll get my supervisor on the way if you want to talk to him. No problem. Okay. I don't need to talk to him. Okay. I mean, what's that difference? What, what difference does well, it make? Almost 29 if, if, years if of I'm policing. I'm Georgia post, yeah, and I've got 27. Okay. But after 27 I've never, years, I've never, I've never had someone treat me like that. Treat you like what? Yeah, like you're treating. I've Seriously. never had anybody not say, Dude, sir. Be a nice guy. I said, I'm sir, with so and so. No, I don't say that. Okay. That's not how I operate. Even when I ask you who you're with? Yeah, I can't tell you. Okay. Okay, I can't tell you. Okay. So that's, there, I'm not going to tell you. That's fine. You know my, who I am. No, I don't. You have my driver's license. Yeah. Does GCIC return and tell me that you're a popo? No. No. It will not. It doesn't, but you riding with your blue hat on. I got my hat on. But if you don't want anybody to know who you are, I wouldn't wear the hat. Coordinates doesn't May matter. 1st, 2017. Have a good yeah, day. I didn't see a bus. It's on the side of the road. It's all on HD video. We can go down right now. I'll show it to you. I can. I have to have a second unit here, so his video is on. Coming, right? Yeah, he's so coming. Please, yeah, show me. I, 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 okay, I'm just sit in the bus. I, just, I definitely just, am. Just I, hang tight in the car. I'm good. He'll be here in just a minute. If you don't mind, I just like to stand. Okay. You're not armed, are you? I'm not armed. Okay. And I wouldn't harm another officer for my life. Well, I don't know that you're another officer. You've never run into an imposter in your 27 years, have you? You can't tell when you're talking to another. Yeah, then I ask them, are you with somebody? And they say, yeah, I'm with Gwinnett S.O. I'm with Hall. I'm S.O. Then I can't tell you. That's all. He, it's all good. He I wants to look at the video. Know. He's He won't tell me who he's with, but he, he says he's both. Yeah, I just said, I'll look at it in the car. It's fine. He said second officer needed to be here. He won't yeah. tell me who he's with. I didn't says see I'm bus, supposed to know. Supposedly, You didn't see a what? I didn't see the bus he's talking about, so okay. I'd just like to see the video on that. Okay, but he doesn't have to show you the video right now. You know that. No, I'm offering. No, I'm no, offering. No, 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 oh, yeah. Sure. He asked as a courtesy. I did not see it. Okay. And I told him I didn't see the video. Gotcha. I mean, I didn't see the bus because there was a 41 down the road. Yeah. And I was focused on that. And when he stopped me, I, I, I told him I'm post certified. I'm no, you no, you didn't, sir. You said well, I just I, passed the 41, and mm -hmm. you said, "Do I get any courtesy?" I said, "Are you with somebody?" That's that's well, what I said. well, yeah. But, I but don't, I, number one, I don't want to announce my department on tape, mm -hmm. on video. I don't, I don't do that. Okay. It, it's just, it's not you know, good, you don't have to. Practice. You don't have to. You, you have to just get, slide your ID no, to I, me. I don't actually have it. In the okay. car. Yeah. Look. I was already on top of him moving. I got you. That's, I mean, that's that's what it was. He was he just came to a stop when I was rolling by. I was at full speed. Well, no, they called the middle lane and stopped. I mean, my speed was probably what forty. 45? And speed oh, yeah. limit's 35. Well, whatever. I, yeah, I mean, honestly, I didn't see him, and that kind of figures to me why I didn't see the bus, because it because he had just come to a stop yeah. when I was literally passing. So uh, He even gave me a salute. My, my, my bad. I mean, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. That everything Look, I've else. never written a cop in 29 years. Well, Your attitude's what's got you. And I still don't even know if you're a cop. Curtis, well, let 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 you look at the video. Certification in here, okay? No, certification. I need to know who you're with. Really? Yeah. Right. Because anybody can be certified and have been, have lost their damn job. Oh, I haven't lost a job. Well, that's I'm very employed. Dude. I, I don't think your approach is really helping me. My approach. Please remember that so everything is on. Explain it to him later. I'm sorry. All right. I'm out. Good luck to you. Take care of your girlfriend. I, I'll take care of this. I'll take care of that. No problem. How you doing, Ms. Schultz? Good, how are you? Came to talk to you about that ticket. You don't have to worry about it. 
because I have a warrant for your arrest for impersonating a police officer. Step away, step away, step away, step away and place your hands on the car. I'm post certified, I got my credentials in the car. Place your hands on the hood, please, sir. Turn around. Please do not do this. Warrant's already been signed by the judge. My fiance is inside. I would like to communicate with her. If you could escort me in so I can tell her what's going on. No, we're not going back in the house, sir. It's operational safety. Can, I, can you do it, sir? Um, please? You want? I, I mean, can go on. That was a courtesy. Dude, I'm post certified peace officer. I've saved lives. I've, I've, fuck, you want to let her know? I can't believe you're doing this to me. You did it to yourself. I turned everything over to my captain, figuring you might file a complaint. No, he I'm started not looking complaint. into it, and he had my post instructor look into it, and he said, "Go sign those warrants." So, step back here, sir. Can you please let me resolve this? What I'm in the middle of? No, sir. We have to go down with. Come on, man. Why you do you have to treat me that way? Seriously, why well, do you have to treat me like this? Because you misrepresented yourself. Look, I'm a Georgia certified peace officer. I've but saved, I can't I've tell you what life. department I'm with. Have a seat in the I car. I told you, I cannot tell you. Because there is none. Have a seat. I've got your post history right here, bro. Okay. Have a seat in the car. Have a seat in the car, sir. All right. I'm gonna give Can you drop the window for me, please? Can you please adjust the cuffs? They're, They're already on and I've already locked them down. Look, Lo, come back. Lo, you think I'm going to hurt you? No, I'm going to make sure you're not. Just have a seat in the I car. I mean, can you adjust the cuff so I can sit right? Just have a seat Dude, in the car. Dude, get in the car. We're going to put you in the car. Man. Thank you, sir. Hey, Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. My Harley's sitting in the garage right now with a dead battery. <laughs> it's been there for months. I don't even have a garage or a Harley. I did get to go to the Harley Museum last November up in Milwaukee. That was pretty cool. Oh, it's awesome. Looks like she's not answering. I appreciate y'all coming out so quick. Sir, here's my card. She's not answering. He'll be transferred over to DeKalb County uh, Jail tonight or in the morning, and he'll have his first appearance either tonight or in the morning. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Do what, sir? Where are they at? Okay. Thanks. Where am I going to? City of Doraville, and then we'll transfer you over to DeKalb County for your first appearance. These cops are extremely uncomfortable because my hands are backwards. Okay, well, I don't know, sir. My policy does not allow that. So, is there something on my post record because I'm not a certified peace officer in the state of Georgia? No, sir, it just shows you're not currently with an agency as a police officer. Well, when there's certain points of the case that you made on video that uh, convinced the judge that you were good enough for a probable cause on the warrant, so. Is this a Warfield judge? No, sir, DeKalb County. Okay. Go straight, it's quicker. It is? Yes, sir. Okay. Northeast on Smyrna Powder Springs Road, Southeast toward Midway Southeast. You are on the <laughs> fastest route despite usual traffic. You will arrive at 5:08 p.m. No, no, the other way. Oh. I'm gonna go by GPS. I'm, I know you know better. I'm just. Turn right up here. Right on South Carolina. I assume you're trying to get back to 285, right? Yeah. Did you ever let anybody uh, make a phone call while you were driving? Mobile. Yeah. Okay. You need to hang up then.
when you can, can you send report number 138 back so I can adjust it for the arrest? Yes, sir. What happened to you, man? Why would you would do this to someone who's risked their life as an officer like you're doing? Why would you do that? Because you lied. Say, what happened? To you? Nothing. Why would you do that to someone who's basically your brother? My brothers don't get terminated and let go from so many agencies. It's ridiculous. So. You're assuming because there's a termination on my background? Well, there's several, that, but yeah. That is a cause to arrest me? No, sir. So, why do you say that? I told you because you lied about being with the department. I didn't tell you I was with the department. Yes, you did. I'm not, I'm not going to discuss it, okay? I'm just not going to discuss it. Well, what I said is already on recording, so it's not even a, a point. And I never said that, so we all know that part. Hmm. But what I'm asking you is, why would you do this to someone who has been a police officer for as long as I have and served? When was the last time you were an active duty police officer? On the job, not certified on the job. Ten years ago? Enforcement about Eight, nine years ago. About twelve. Two thousand seven. Right? About right. Twelve. Twelve, give or take, I guess. I don't remember the actual year. So is that, is that because you read that on my, my post record, does that mean I'm a bad No, sir. The investigators looked into it after I forwarded everything to the captain. And uh, the way you represented yourself was wrong. Well, I don't think so. I'm a peace officer. You just want me to be full-time gainfully employed in some agency. I didn't tell you I was. I told you I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you I'm with an agency. I think my words were I can't. I can't tell you who I'm with. Right. I can't tell you who I'm with. Because you're not with anybody. That's what I said. No, you didn't. Even if I was working with someone, I wouldn't tell you on recording. And then you get the ticket. So that's the way it goes. I mean, I understand that. That's your discretionary call. It's not mine. But I just don't know what happened to you that it's in your heart to do this to someone who did what I did in my career. What happened to you? Nothing. Did you get screwed over? Nope. Never have, never have, never have written an officer in my career. Never have arrested one. Never. Because I go by the whole don't pee in somebody else's pond thing. So whenever I get stopped, I'm very respectful. Let them know, sir, I've got a service weapon with me and this is my departmental ID. If I get a ticket, I get a ticket. And it's been that way with everybody I've stopped for almost 29 years. So well, this. I didn't have a weapon with me to announce. But I put my hands on. The all side. you, all you had to say was, "I'm not with anybody, but I'm a certified officer. I would have worked a deal out with you at court." That's all you had to say. I work deals all the time for people, people that aren't even in law enforcement. Yes, Sarge? Okay. Just... Okay. Gotcha. Okay, just add a sub or just add it on to as is and resubmit? Okay, we'll do. We'll do. It's going to be 412, yeah. 412 on my case numbers for today. Yes, sir.
Yes, sir. Have a good one. I come in contact with a threat. Well, Lo, that's true, but guess what? You had sufficient backup. You know I have zero history of any violence in my record. I've never hurt anybody on or off the job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it does. State certified agency. We kind of got a thing where we try to go by the policy. That's why your seat belted in. That's why the audio and video is all running. Yeah, and when you're sitting there, oh, come on. Let me, let's, let's resolve this. Let's resolve this. My job is to get you in cuffs on a felony warrant. You cuffed me, I gave you my hands. There was no resistance. Didn't say there was. I was dropping my head in disbelief to what you were doing to me. That's it. I know law. I know this is not a negotiation. I understand. Right, it's in the DA's hand now. No, I get that. I get that. And I'll have to deal with that too. All I asked you was to please adjust my cuff so I have some degree of comfort. Uh, Sir, where are you? Where are you? Where not very safe. Well, when you have three officers standing there, what am I going to do to you? Yeah, we just don't allow phone calls and transport because of operational safety. Well, you just, that's what you just brought up. No, I'm talking about telling my fiance. I knocked on the door and she didn't answer. I knocked twice. She is downstairs, right? I'm not going to go walking in your house. What? I told Larry to go tell her what's going on. He wanted to keep working on the car. I even looked, you know, I looked at your video of my violation. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even a reasonable ticket to issue. Okay. It wasn't. Okay. I didn't have sufficient time to react to the bus being coming to a stop. So Georgia law says that the, as long as you've got time, you should stop? Yeah, no, it doesn't. To react to his stop. And I was dealing with a pedestrian across the road. And you know that. And I told you that. Yeah. That's okay. It's all good. Everybody has their opinion, I guess, about how the law is, but it's supposed to be based on reasonableness. And I never lied to you. I told you I didn't see the bus. That's not a defense, and you know that. No, it's not a defense. 
but it's reasonable because of my proximity to the bus when it actually did stop. So if you run over a kid, as long as it's reasonable that you didn't see the bus, bus they need to be... have time to activate its warning sign other than the flashing lights, which I read the code section is sufficient. I get it. But you didn't have time to open a stop sign or open a door. Because I was past the bus in under two seconds from it actually coming to a stop. As I said, my, my intentions were somewhere else because there was a person in the road. It's not a ticket anymore, it's a warrant. I don't get it, man. I, don't, I just don't understand what's in your heart to do this to me. Your, your, your case is not even a valid case. You charge me with a felony because you don't like me. No, sir, that's not it. Yeah. Charge you with a felony because my captain, my assistant chief, and the training lieutenant all watched the video and said, you need to go forward and press charges on this. Will do. Okay. Yeah, they did. I didn't come in and investigate this. Well, I, guess, I, guess, I guess someone's in, in the wrong here. It's obviously me by your standard, so that's fine. We'll just see how that pans out. I think it's a reasonable charge. Very good. You like Star Wars? Yep. I have a life size RTD2 in my house. <laughs> Uh, my wife won't let me have all that stuff. Huh? My wife won't have it, let me have all work. We got a small house, so a lot of my stuff's packed up. Yeah, it would have been better if we could at least be cordial to each other. Maybe we could have been. Yeah, because I just came off of such a dick. Whatever. What Your gut's got to tell you you're doing something wrong. It's not, you need to find yourself. <laughs> On my way to two hundred now. This evening, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is instead of waiting tomorrow, I'm going to see if Morning Watch can go ahead and get you over to DeKalb County for your first appearance so you can go ahead and make bond instead of putting it off till tomorrow. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. When do, they hold do what, sir? When do they hold that hearing? Uh, they do through the evening. Okay. They can set it up tonight. We got a couple of rookies on Morning Watch that uh, need the I'm experience. Actually, I'm actually insulin diabetic. Okay. I didn't think to mention it to you when you were detaining me, but I uh, don't have my meds with you. Okay. What you can do is, normally we don't allow phone calls until you're booked, but if you want to go ahead and make arrangements to get that stuff to you, you can do so. I'll let you make that call and get it down here, because if you, you end up having to be a meg call, you'll end up going to Grady.
chief for city of Atlanta jail is on his way over there. Well, it's like nine zero six. Nine zero six. My years. Yep. I have to own him. I'll never forget when I went to EVOC, before they even welcomed us to the class, they said, who in the world is driving that ugly baby blue police car? Luckily, we switched over about that time, too. Our shirts used to be that color, too. Budget cut in 2011, and I was in an admin position. So in order to come back to the road, I had to take a uh, lowering, but just kept me in the business, kept me doing the job I love. So the city back in 2011 was in a lot of financial trouble. We lost 12 people in one swoop.
Yes, sir. Thank you. Ms. Schultz, right here, by the We'll take those cuts off real quick. Here's his phone. Huh? I've been driving since I don't know how long. I'll do one in just a second. your hat, shoes, belt, anything in your pockets and just put them in the uh, in there. As soon as we get done with the pat down, he needs to make a call to try to get some medicine. Okay. You could do that for me. Thank you. Do I keep my glasses or what? Yeah, you can keep your glasses. You want my belt and my shoes, right? My belt and shoes, yes sir. And your necklace. This right here, the two, there's the red dots are the originals. And then all this paperwork goes in, there's a copy of the warrant here. There's a ticket too that's been voided. So I'll just write on there. So you don't get confused. Let me have the one that's not a red dot. Okay, they should be on the bottom. Is there one just one more? No, there's two. Traffic violation and then the other one. Well, I think the originals go down, right? They go when y'all do yeah. Okay. So if you would just turn around, put your hands up on the wall. Spread your legs just a little bit, please. Lift your foot. Okay. Okay, we gotta do it one more time.
her son had a case back when she was sex crimes with Miss Burton. And she said, I understand Jennifer Burton is, I don't want to say crazy, but she's crazy and that she is delusional and that she makes things up.